You really want to know, don't you? You really want to know. What did I learn from my college experience? Here goes nothing. Social skills. Social and emotional aspects of learning. Self-awareness. Managing feelings. And motivation. Yep. That's right, I'm talking about Thirsty Thursdays. We get it. You went out for Thirsty Thursday. It is now Friday afternoon, and excessively complaining about your hangover is just giving me a headache. Thirsty Thursday? Not for me. I've got class tomorrow morning. One does not simply go to class Friday morning after Thirsty Thursday. Club meetings. Breakfast Club. Great movie. Fight Club. Oop. Don't talk about it. There are club expos and they can help you to get your name out there and they're really good resume builders or they're just fun to meet new friends who can help you on tests and things. Sorority and fraternity involvement. There are handbooks, there are student activity guides, they're all great fun and they give you a sense of belonging. Romantic relationships which should always be scrutinized for safety as well as equality. Number two is study skills. Group study, we work better together. Using university assistance, a lot of times universities have study groups that they lead or they hire students who are great at a certain thing to help others study and executive functioning, i.e. time management, something that we all need to work harder at. A good time management technique is charting out what is urgent and important, what is not urgent but still important, what is urgent and not important, and the least important thing is what's not important and not urgent. Beginning bureaucracy, the red tape of class registration. It's based on the credits accrued. You can get double endorsement for classes, meaning you have to take less credits and spend less money. Getting heads of departments and advisors to sign off on the double endorsements and the prerequisites you've already had. Make sure you keep all copies of schedule overrides. CYA, man, CYA. When bureaucrats say no copies, a cell phone image can be a lifesaver. Personal finances, this is a big category, so get ready. Credit cards are scary if you don't have consistent income. Don't even apply for them if you don't have a constant job. This is a sample of a credit card statement. There's a registry for your credit and debit cards. Here's a deposit recorder. And here is how you need to make sure you have enough money in your account to pay for the things you want to buy. Make sure to constantly fill it out. I'm going to do another video on how to use these things. Late fees are the devil. Look in the upper right hand corner. See the due date? Pay it one week minimum in advance. Last but not least, the Geneva Convention restricts the killing of our taste buds, but Number one per box of pasta and or ramen noodles goes a long way, as you can tell.
Yes, please. Potatoes? Fine. Green corn? Thank you. And for the entree today? Here it comes. Steady. We have liver or fish? I didn't hear you say that. Because it isn't possible. It's inhuman to serve the same food day after day. The Geneva Convention prohibits the killing of our taste buds. Easy. I simply cannot eat the same food every day. Fish, liver, day after day. I've eaten a river of liver and an ocean of fish. I've eaten so much fish, I'm ready to grow gills. I've eaten so much liver, I can only make love if I'm smothered in bacon and onions. Are we going to stand for this? We're going to let them do this to us? No, I say, no! We're not going to eat this drink anymore! We want something else! We want something else! We want something else! Moving on, if you live on campus, this is for dining, the dining commons are your friends. Overload for late night sessions. That means load up your pockets, your coats, your backpacks, whatever you can take with you. Check out free food functions and celebrations. Many of these happen in the dining commons or by them in the student center or in your or your friends dormitories. If you live off campus, friends who live on campus are often given a number of friends dining common passes. Use them! Personal Finances, the textbooks chapter. Textbooks are more of guidelines. Don't buy them. Check libraries. Libraries have a quiet surroundings, study areas, free Wi-Fi, and great resources, including e-magazines and reference books. Ask teachers to copy important pages if possible. The internet is a great resource for e-books, which are sometimes free. And then if you need to have them in your possession, you may try to buy in this order, rent used, buy used or rent new, and as a last resort, buy new. Again, personal finances. If you live off campus, spend as much time on campus as possible. Plug in electronic devices. Tuition includes electricity. Use the campus computer labs. Some have specific programs for your major that cost lots of money. Most offer free printing to a limit. And lastly, be nice. Not flirting, but nice. Friends could give you their unused credit for free printing. Let's talk about the summary. Social skills leads to fun, fun, fun. Clubs, you can network yourself and build resumes. Study buddies and friends from which you can mooch food and print credit. Bureaucracy, CYA, which stands for cover your anatomy. <laughs> Make copies of everything. Email teachers, leave a dated trail of when you talk to people. Finances, freebies, books, food, electricity, internet. Early is on time and on time is late, as my dad always says. 
and here is a picture of me with my social skills at graduation. The blacked out pictures are my friends whom I didn't ask if I could use this picture but I asked them if they could be in it so here it is and if you look closely you can see that really is me.